Hey, what's happening guys? Happy New Year 2022. For our first video this year, we're going to take a look at this <clears throat> low-cost digital soldering station that I purchased from Amazon. The company is called Celody. Celody. Jesus, Chinese people, come on. Anyway, it is model SSA60. You get a free gift. An extended warranty. An extended warranty is not a gift. So let's see what's in the box. Let me start with this. This is a nice metallic solder stamp. A little weight. Got a, a sponge in there. We have some wool in there. Here is the iron itself. Got a conical tip. Standard IEC cable. And here's the brains of the operation. And it's got a little heft on it. Let me clear off the table and we'll take a better look. Okay. So here's our iron. Got some silicone protecting the tip and these are your basic uh, sort of 600 style tips that's interesting okay got a decent length cord on it Adjust this down here a little better. There we go. So the cord's about a meter long. It is relatively flexible. And we've got a seven pin adapter on here. This is labeled M I N S O O X S 12 2JK 7P slash Y. We have a standard IEC cable, nothing to look at there. And here's the unit itself. High efficiency soldering station, mono SSA 60, 110 volts, 60 hertz, 60 watts. Made in China, it is fused. So, let's just see something. So this connector is keyed. Snaps in positively, which I like. This is only 40 bucks off of Amazon. So this is a... Oh, that's spring-loaded. I thought I was screwing it in. Very nice. Plug in the power cord here. I'll pause it for a second. I want to grab my meter. What I want to see is if there is any connection between ground and the tip. And yes, there is. It's like around 200 ohms, maybe. Let's see if we can get a better connection on here. And that's still counting down. 0.8 ohms, that's a that's almost a straight shot. Let's have a look inside. See what the construction's like. You see the little molding mark there? 
nothing to worry about again this is not a sponsored video I bought this trickiness awaits us to getting this thing all open probably gonna have to get the front panel perhaps the rear panel off first I'm not quite sure should we get the spudger in there maybe Maybe a screw under this. Nope. No screw under that. So what is going to be the secret? I'm going to have to play for a minute. It just kind of cantilevers up from the rear. Maybe. I think yeah this is clipped in all right so as we take a look here we have the power coming in here through this block We've got a nice big choke safety capacitor a couple more little capacitors and that's bringing the power off of here over to the jack we have the transformer now we just have a PC board in there for control pretty simple it looks solidly built screws all are tight Okay, the front panel comes off. There's another little screw down there. And those will be under the feet to remove the front panel. But I don't think we need to do that. We've seen all there is to see. Okay, so it's all back together. Let's power it up. Heating up relatively quickly. Set for 380. I don't really want it that high. I'm put it about 340. And I'm going to start tinning the iron. A little clean. We'll do it again. I'm going to get lots of solder on that tip. A little clean. I like to do this four or five times with a new tip. I also like to hang it upside down so the solder hangs in a ball from the tip. Then turn it, rotate it, get it all nice and clean. So soldering or tinning the tip of a new soldering iron is uh, pretty important. 
for the life of the tip. If you don't care about the life of the tip, then, well, this really isn't all that necessary. And always, before you put them away, yeah, tin the tips. So, this is a smart type soldering iron. I mean, not really smart, but it has some programmability to it. So, the first thing we can do is set the temperature. Press the menu key, press up or down, choose option one, and then menu. So, menu, option one. 340, 350 is where I like to solder, then press menu to save. Number two, temperature compensation. Number three is auto sleep, so menu, three, Auto sleep 10 minutes. Whoops. So 10 minutes is as short as we can go. 60 is as high as we can go. Number four is setting between Celsius and Fahrenheit. I just leave them on Fahrenheit. And then a password. I don't think we need a password. All right, so let's see if we can do this right. We have three buttons here. So we can set in three different temperatures. So we'll start at the first one. Channel one. There's 350. And we have channel two, which is set for 400, which is right where I like it for really uh, large things that's going to sink a lot of heat. And then 450, I don't want that. Make that a low one. Actually, we'll make this one 400. We'll go in order. We'll make this one 350. Pressing the menu key to save. And we'll make this, whoops. We'll make this one about 320. I'll call it 315. So here we go. So we have our three settings. 315, 350, 400. I'll put it back to 350. And we'll leave it there because that's where I'd like to do my regular soldering. All right. Let's, uh, let's see how it solders, huh? I have no doubt it'll be fine. I mean, it melts the solder. What else do you want, right? Seems to work nicely. Another one. So we can get you a close up on this one.
move that out of the way. And focus. Focus. There we go. Yeah. Solders nicely. No worries at all. Okay, so again, this is the seal load D, seal of D. I don't know how you say it. Uh, SS60. 60 watt soldering iron. It's $39.99 from Amazon. Uh, the dimensions are 150 by 130 by 99 millimeters, and it weighs 1.4 kilograms. Uh, voltage tip to ground is less than 2 millivolts, and the resistance is less than 2 ohms. So we saw, what, 0.8 ohms, so that seems pretty much uh, right on par with what they're saying. So that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. Wouldn't be here without you. I wish you peace and happiness in the coming year. Happy New Year. That's it. I'm out. Peace.